Welcome to the Python Data Analysis Project video. In this video, we will be doing analysis of incomes using Python. I'm going to give the dataset link so you can download the dataset for applying the codes with me. We can skip to the coding part now. That was all for the introduction. Welcome to the coding part of our project. I'm going to close my microphone when I'm writing code because my microphone takes my keyboard sounds too much. I'm sorry for that. We will start by importing pandas. Let's use reach CSV for transforming our data into pandas data frame. Okay, let's see the first five entry of our data. We will use data.head for this. Seems like we have the data of people and their incomes. We have both numeric and categorical columns, but we don't do any encoding in this video. We have columns like age, work class, marital status, native country, and we can talk about them later on this video. For categorical columns, we will change them to numeric in the machine learning project of this dataset, but we won't do any that kind of operation in this video. Let's see how many rows we have in our data by data.shape. We have 32,561 rows and 15 columns. Since data shape returns a tuple, let's print the row information in different format. What I will do is, I'm going to write a print line and I will pass the first index of my tuple, which comes from data shape into that. Let's see in code. Seems nice. The row count of data is 32,000. Seems nice. The row count of our data is 32,561. Let's go our columns for checking what kind of features we have. Ok, we can start to analyze this data now. Let's take the oldest person in this data set. I want to take all the row which means I want all the information for the person who has the highest age value. What I'm going to do for this is, I'm going to use iLock and I will pass the age columns maximum index in it. As we can see, the oldest person here is 90 years old. There's one important thing. Our column names, except age, has space at the starting of their names. You can see they have one space. I will fix it later on this video, but I won't do that now. Let's get the youngest person in this dataset. The only thing I'm going to change is index maximum. I will change it with index minimum. The youngest person is 17 years old. Seems nice. Let's see another method. Let's get the value counts of work class. Once again, columns has space at the starting of their names, so we need to write like that. I will use value counts and sort values for that. I want my values like highest to lowest, so I am going to set ascending as false. Let's see.
it seems like the highest work class value is private. It means our data is collected from private sector workers mostly. Okay, now let's see the value counts of income. We have two different values at income side, more than or less than 50,000. As you can see, as we change the ascending to true, it's going to be like lowest to highest. Seems like the most people in this data has less income than 50,000. Let's make this data visual. Before starting to that process, I'm going to apply a code which will help us on making our graphs better. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the figure size from matplotlib.rc and in this way, even if we use another visual library like Seaborn, if we use plt.show after, our graph is going to be bigger. Okay. Let's start by generating a bar chart for the income column. I will use matplotlib pyplot for this. I will create a bar chart with value counts. Now we can see this information visually. Let's take the value counts of education column. Most of the entries are high school graduate, as we can see here. Let's also create a bar chart from this information. Seems nice. Now we are going to create some pie charts. Let me call the columns once again, so we can select what column are we going to use in pie charts. Let's create a pie chart from the sex information. What I'm going to do is, I will firstly set labels with unique method. After that, I will create the pie chart from matplotlib and paste the labels inside. Let's see it live. Seems like we mostly have male in our dataset. Let's also apply this for marital status. We will use the same method. Okay, seems nice. Now I'm going to stop recording and I will fix the column names of record. I will also drop some columns that we won't use. I will be here with the new version of our dataset and the codes are used for this task in two seconds. Okay, I did necessary operations of record. 
you can see I start by calling the columns and dropped unnecessary ones with assigning data again. After that, I re renamed the remained columns, I removed space in their names. For the last step, I run data.head for showing the first five entry of the new dataset. Now we will do some data cleaning. Let's see if we have any NA values. We don't have any NA values in our dataset. Let's check the duplicated values. We have more than 7000 duplicated entries. Let's remove them. I will use drop duplicates here and use in place true for not assigning it once again. Let's see if we have any remaining duplicated entries. Ok, we dropped all of them. That was all for the analysis. We made graphs and analyzed our data. I will also record a machine learning applications video for the same data set. If you liked the video, you can drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.